My name is Tika Lark Fleming. I'm a poet and a journalist. Um, and I am. I have the show called The Black Girl Show and The Black Girl Book Fair. And I publish the Maurice Side Park Chronicle. I do a lot of things. Um, the advice I give to students is to talk to people in real life, um, to make sure you go to events and to connect to people. And remember, if you share, people will share with you if you share with them. So make sure that it's not just about you. Writing is about community. And remember that your community is important, um, who you are is important, and to people want to know who you are, you know, because that's a connection that people don't always have. So remember to connect to other people in real life and online. Awesome. I have permission to film this. My name is Skyra Martinez, and my advice is to stay true to your intuition. Listen to your intuition, don't doubt it. My advice is to never change your memoir based on someone's opinion or memories. Perfect. Uh, memoir is very crowded, so be good. Okay. Work on your craft, don't be rushing anything. Be good. Be genuine, uh, write about what you know, uh, exaggerate a little bit on your boring friends, and just have fun with it. Okay. Ready? Okay, I'm Raihane Sanders with Lippincott Massey McQuilkin. And um, my advice to any writers, memoirists, or any other kind of writers, it's invaluable to have a great writing group where you share the material that you're working on with people that you trust, with people who can be honest with you about what's working, what's not working. Um, even established authors, my best clients who've had so much success, still hold on to their writing groups. <laughs> I love her so much like I could that. die. This is Dan Smitega. That was Dan Smitega from Counterpoint Soft Press. Press. The best press west of the Mississippi. <laughs> it's Mwah. true. It's true. Okay. Um, and good luck writing. Never give up. <laughs> okay. Memoir students, I want to tell you something. You have to tell your truth. But you have to tell it in a way that the reader can understand. So you have to bring the esoterical, philosophical, feeling type stuff that you're thinking about down to the five senses and explain it in terms of concrete imagery so that the reader can pick up what you're putting down. And you can have that divine communion in the middle where they get what you're saying. Use the five senses to do it. It won't fail you. Mwah. Little League and other bad ideas. <laughs> I like that. Well, thanks. I, I do too. And I'm just, I just, I always thought, how nice if you have a big rack of books or a spinning thing with your book on it, if someone can read a title and go, oh, that's good. Oh, oh. Yeah. Isn't that better? Yes. yes. And they go, oh, oh it's, it's, you know, that's pretty good. It's witty. It's, oh, a little, a little a whole laugh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Doesn't it have good. the word adultery on there? I saw the, isn't the Sunday right. book? Adultery and other bad ideas. <laughs> That's right, and I was going to say something else. I had some lines from my act, but they're not really in my act. Like that one on the, on the cover there. It's not youth that's wasted on the young, it's smoking and drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is true. So, what are you writing now? Well, I'm uh, writing a script now, and uh, I have a good part in a movie that's coming out in about a week. And What's the movie? It's called Road Heart, and uh, and I'm there's always like you, like all of us. There's always more to do, a big, full plate to go through, and I'm very glad. It doesn't mean we get through all of it, but we should and we want to. Mm -hmm. So there's so much writing to do. I, I